Today's video is how to create a Google storage bucket using Terraform in eight minutes or less. I'll be doing a future video, which at some point I'll put over here somewhere on how to secure a Google storage bucket with Terraform in eight minutes or less. Before we can begin, there are a few things we need installed on our system. One, we need Terraform. And two, we need the Google Cloud CLI. I'll leave a link in the description on how to download and install it. Once you have these installed, I'll go ahead and I'll run a Terraform version so you can see which version of Terraform I'm on. As you can see, I'm on Terraform version 1.3.7. You do not have to be on these versions for this video, but if you run into issues, it may be because you're watching this from the future on a newer version, or you're on a version that is too old to support what we are doing in this video. I'll go ahead and I'll run gcloud version, and this is the Google Cloud CLI that I've installed, and I'll look to see which version of Google Cloud SDK I have and I see that I am running version 413.0.0 for this video. We also need to make sure that we have an existing project in Google Cloud that we would like to put our Terraform resources into. Go ahead and make sure you have a project that you would like to use for this video. Once you've got Terraform installed and the Google Cloud CLI installed and a project created in your Google Cloud account, we can create our first file and we'll call it versions.tf. I'll head on over to the HashiCorp registry, look for the Google provider, I'll hit the use provider button and I'll copy this configuration. I'll head back to my versions.tf and I'll paste that configuration. Here I'm telling Terraform which providers I require to use upon initialization and which versions and where they're coming from. Under the Google provider, I'll remove this comment and I'll add three attributes. I'll add credentials, I'll add project, and I'll add region. And I'll actually fill in region as US Central 1. Before I go any further with writing my Terraform code, I'm going to go ahead and use the gcloud CLI tool to authenticate to Google Cloud and generate a credentials file. Go ahead and I'll run gcloud auth application default login. This will generate a link, which I'll click. It'll open a web page in my web browser and tell me to choose a Google account to log in with. I'll go ahead and click it. I'll click allow, and then it will provide me with a code to copy. I'll go ahead and copy that code. I'll paste that code into my terminal and we can see that I've been given a path to a credentials file. I'll copy that and I'll go up here to my credentials attribute under the provider and I'll type file parentheses quotation marks and paste that in there. Next, I'll run gcloud projects list and this will output all the projects that I have access to in my Google account. And we can see that I have a project here named demo which I'll be using for this video. I'll grab that project ID, I'll copy it and I'll paste it under the project attribute. Now I'm telling the Google provider which credentials to use when authenticating the Google Cloud, which project I'm going to use for these resources, and which region. Now that we're done configuring our provider, we'll go ahead and we'll create a new file, and we'll call this storagebucket.tf. I'll go back to the provider documentation, I'll click the documentation bucket, and then I will look for a resource called storage. I'll go ahead and click on storage bucket, Google storage bucket, and I'll scroll down and there's an example called Enabling Public Access Prevention. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this resource. Come back to storagebucket.tf and I'll paste that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of the resource because I don't like this one. I'll just call it TF for Terraform. I'm gonna go ahead and change the actual name of the storage bucket that will get created. Uh, so we'll call it, uh, we'll just call it test. The location, I'll keep force destroy too. All this means is Anything inside of my bucket, when I destroy the bucket, please destroy everything in it as well. And then we don't need public access prevention for this video, although this is a good thing to have, but securing Google storage buckets is a more in-depth topic I'll save for another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this attribute for this video. Now that I've got the resource created for my Google storage bucket, I'll go ahead and I'll grab the resource called Google storage bucket object. Now go ahead and copy this example. And what this allows us to do, it is allows it to actually create objects within our bucket once we create our bucket with Terraform as well. I'll go back to storagebucket.tf and I'll paste that code in there. I'll go ahead and keep this resource name picture. I'll go ahead and change the name to GCP logo. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to actually add a file into here called gcp.png and it's just the Google Cloud logo. So I'll go ahead and the source needs to be the path relative to your Terraform working directory, which for me is the directory I'm working in right here. 
that's where I'm going to run Terraform out of. So I'll go ahead and just provide the name of the file, gcp.png. And then we need to provide the name of the bucket we would like to store our object in. In order to have clean Terraform code, it's always a good idea to reference other Terraform resources you're creating with Terraform whenever possible. So I'll go ahead and I'll reference Google storage bucket.tf and the name attribute. Now that we've finished defining our providers, our resources, and we've authenticated to the Google CLI, we're ready to go ahead and start running Terraform init to initialize Terraform. When Terraform init is finished and our provider's been downloaded, we'll run a Terraform plan just to make sure everything gets created the way we expect. If everything looks good, we're creating two resources, a bucket and an object inside of the bucket. We'll go ahead and do a Terraform reply. And you can see I've hit an error here, and it says the requested bucket name is not available. The bucket namespace is shared by all users in the system. What this means is Google buckets, storage buckets specifically, need to be unique across all of Google storage. So this should honestly be test the sudo three, and then hopefully that's not taken. I'll go ahead and I'll run another Terraform apply. I'll navigate over to my project in Google. On the left-hand side here, I'll go ahead and click on cloud storage buckets and make sure my bucket is there. It is. And then we'll just make sure that our object is there as well. And it is. I can hit download, but I get a forbidden. And that's because we did not configure access permissions. So if I wanted to download this, I could go ahead and hit edit access. I could go and add an entry. I can add public, only authenticated users, owner. And now, me, I will be able to download this. But that's not the most secure scenario, so stay tuned later for another video on how to secure your Google Cloud Storage buckets using Terraform.